Drinking unicorn blood is said to sustain the drinker even if they are moments from death. Yet, to drink the blood of an animal so pure, it comes with a severe consequence. Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times. One only remembers to turn on the light. In the magical world, the unicorn is considered one of the most beautiful and peaceful animals in existence, completely defenceless. Their purpose is to grace the earth with their uniqueness. Such is their uniqueness, their blood contains a substance that gives the drinker immortality. Well, immortality in a certain form. It can save someone from the brink of death. Yet the consequence is quite severe to the drinker. For starters, it appears that it does not remain effective for long periods of time, possibly one to two days, as like any substance, magical or non-magical, the body absorbs what it needs and then digests the rest. When it comes to the term immortality, unicorn blood I believe does not stop the aging process completely. It's not a permanent fix, it's more of a temporary sustainment for people in critically ill conditions. Which is why I also believe the ministry allows the sale of unicorn blood although very controversial, to sustain people long enough to get their affairs in order, to give people that last piece of extra strength. Now that's just a possibility. And when it comes to the cursed life, half-life description from Ferenc the Centaur, I feel the cursed life is its own opinion, but the half-life is more accurate. So what do I mean by the half-life? It's exactly what I mean. Half-life. Half of a life. Meaning that at least half of or the majority of one's time is spent seeking more of the blood because its effects last such a little amount of time. This is why I believe Ferenc uses the term cursed life. Why seek something to give you prolonged life when you cannot live your life in full? It's why Voldemort didn't care. He valued life too little, judging by his killing sprees. It was death he feared so much that he'd rather spend each and every day slaying unicorns. Now whether he'd have to slay one every day is probably and very much unlikely, but just drinking their blood to get one more day of life, it's not a life at all. I feel it also has to be taken into consideration that unicorn blood was a key ingredient in the construction of Voldemort's rudimentary body, which could mean in certain terms that he had unicorn blood within his veins. Combine that with Harry's blood after his rebirth, Voldemort was in a really strong position physically, regardless of the fact he had split his soul. In conclusion, consuming unicorn blood gives the drinker exactly what they're looking for, going from one day to the next, trying to survive. It's a concoction for a desperate individual who would rather cling to life than ever accept death. That's all for today's video everyone, thank you very much for watching, if you like this video then make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you feel my channel deserves your subscription then make sure to click that subscribe button. If you want to check out some of the latest videos I've uploaded, they're up top and if you want to check out some theories and facts, they're down below. Thank you very much again, have a great day.